What's going on YouTube? So today we're going to do a video reviewing Texas hot peppers and what I'm going to be doing for the grow season after the winter. So first off, Texas hot peppers is a website that I ordered a lot of my pepper seeds on. This is going to be a two part video. I have one more order of seeds coming. Uh, and to be honest, it's quite a lot of seeds. So I'm going to break it up into two parts. So it's not too long. First off though, the website was very well put together easy to find things, a lot of filters and search options. I really like the website. Everything came pretty quick. They even threw a few seeds in there that were extra just because my order was large. So I got a few free things in there, which is awesome. www.texashotpeppers.net is the website name. And I will link that in the description. They also have a Facebook page and a Twitter. So I really appreciate that Texas Hot Peppers. You did a great job. Everything came in good. Um, I'm looking forward to growing them. So now that that's out of the way, the next thing I'd like to do is talk about what I'm going to be growing uh, this coming grow season. Some of these things are going to, I mean, there's going to be a few extra things in here. Like I said, it's going to be a two part. And if you want me to, I'll include what I'm going to grow that isn't pepper related. But the first part is just going to be peppers. First off, something that I've saved, I've got some Snackabell red pepper seeds. I did a review on those. They're pretty awesome. I've got ghost pepper seeds. These are also some stuff that I saved. Definitely going to grow those again. The plant that I have is a pretty good producer and I really enjoyed growing them. They grew pretty good. It took them a little while to actually grow peppers though, but once they started going, it went pretty well. I do have some MOA scotch bonnets. Very excited to grow these. I've seen Kang Star. Y'all might know him, a uh, pretty big pepper YouTuber. He does, he loves them, and I'm very excited to try these. I've never had them before. Next up we have, let's see, of course, plain old jalapenos. I love these things. We make a lot of jalapeno poppers and things with them. Definitely happy to grow those again. And of course, I've already done a challenge. It's one of my more popular videos, the scorpions. It was hard to process these seeds, guys. These, I'm not joking. When you process scorpion seeds, and I have like a bunch of them too, you can see. Yeah, like a bunch of these seeds. Processing these things are hard. Even harder than the ghost peppers by a pretty good bit. They, they'll choke you up. You need to wear gloves. I mean, it's crazy. I'll do a video on how to harvest seeds from plants that hot if you would like me to. Just let me know. Next, we have the Dorset Naga seeds. I bought this one from a janky website on Amazon, so we're going to hope that I get Dorset Nagas. I, I really, I don't know. if I, We'll see. I'm excited if they are, though. Now on to the actual seeds that I bought from Texas Hot Peppers. We have the Scarlet Lantern. Super excited to see those. It's uh, They start off like purple and green when they start to ripen, and then they turn like orange and red. It's supposed to be really nice. The Bujalokia Solid Gold, so the Solid Gold Ghost Pepper. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this. I'm going to butcher it, but I'm going to try. Paradiscum Alaku Sarga Zentis. I don't exactly... Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. But we'll see. I may have a picture on my order of those so I can actually kind of explain what those look like. But I'm really not sure. Let me check. Uh, I do not see them on here. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, so they look like pumpkins. Let me see if I can fold this a little bit and give y'all a bit of a view. I want to expect it's the one in front of my finger let's see if it'll zoom in on that yeah so they're supposed to look kind of like pumpkins i'm really excited to see that but anyway yes next off we have two packs of the sought after ksls the kang star lemon starburst I am so happy I got some of these seeds, and I will definitely do some seed giveaways after the next grow season. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited to grow these. 
I've been excited to grow these for a while, so I'm happy I finally found a seed source I could get some. We have the Numex Heritage 6-4, which... I believe those, that was one of the, yeah, that was one of the free ones I got. Super happy about that. He also gave us some Marglobe tomato seeds. I'm going to definitely grow those. Pretty happy to see that. We have the Peri Peri. The Pink Tiger X Peach Bootla. I need to show y'all that. I'm super excited to grow those. Let's see, that picture's pretty terrible, but I'll show you anyway. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know if you can, but basically they're like striped with like reddish purple and like a light peachy color. So really excited to see those. Papa Joe's Scotch Bonnet, Scotch Bonnet mix, Clavo White F1. The Moho Blackie, the Black Bootla, Yellow Jalapeno. I'm telling you, these are like bright school bus yellow. I'm kind of excited to see, kind of excited to see those, to be honest. My sister had this really cool idea to do jalapeno poppers with green, red, ripe ones, and yellows. So I'm going to definitely do that. I'm kind of excited to see those as all jalapeno poppers. Tom's Giant Peach Scorpion. The Chocolate Hand Grenade, the Chocolate Boot Jalokia, the Matai, the Orange Naga BBG7 LG, a Naga brand. I'm really, really happy to see that as well. The Gator Jigsaw, Cappuccino Scotch Bonnet, the Pockmark Peach, and the Pockmark Orange. Very excited to see these two. These are going to be beautiful. I cannot wait to do reviews on these. I know y'all are going to really enjoy those reviews as well because they are super cool. As well as if anybody would like to do some seed trading, um, let me know at the end of next grow season, of course, so I can get a bunch more of these seeds. I'll, I'll be down for that for sure. We got the Ahi Pineapple, the Defcon 7, and the PDN X Dougla. So, once again, Texas Hot Peppers did me a really big solid. They gave us a few free ones. Shout out to Texas Hot Peppers. Everything came in quickly. It was all labeled. Everything came in like it was supposed to. Actually, a little bit early. Thank y'all again very much for that. All these seeds, I've got a pretty good plethora right now. I do have some more coming in, though. Very excited to see everything when it all comes together. As well as when you order from Texas Hot Peppers, everything comes in these nice organized packets with name tags. So, like I said, they did a great job. Um, I will link the next website that I get them from in the description if they come in or when they come in. If I order more. And if it's only a few things, I don't quite remember what all I ordered. So if it's a few things, I might not. But if it's a decent size order, I'll definitely do a gross, I mean, a part two to this on everything else I'm growing. Also, in the comment section, let me know if you want me to label everything that I'm growing uh, in the next video as well. Because I will label it in this one in the description if y'all would like to check any of those out yourself. Uh, also, if you would like me to do a video including for part two, it would be a little bit smaller with the peppers. If you would like me to include everything else that I plan on growing next year, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to do that. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit like, subscribe, smash the uh, bell icon for all post notifications, and stay blessed, guys. Y'all be good.